The QI Macros Stat Wizard simplifies all of Excel's statistical tools. And hypothesis testing is a significant portion of the Six Sigma uh, dialect, if you will. But I find that there's an awful lot of uh, jargon and gibberish that, that revolves around this. And so I've tried to simplify it to make it easy for people to understand and get the answers they're looking for. So if you look on the QI macros, you'll notice that over here on the left-hand side, we have all of the statistical tools and NOVAs and t-tests and so on. There's some tests that are not in uh, Excel's toolkit, like the t-test one sample and Levine's test and Fisher's exact test and so on. So what we want to do is figure out are there better ways to go about doing business. So we click on File and Open, My Documents. You'll notice there's a QI Macros test data. And I'm going to open up the ANOVA test data. And so here's an example from Montgomery's uh, intro to SPC. Uh, basically, we're making some paper bags or something. And the bursting strength of that paper in pounds per square inch is being measured. And we're trying to change our hardwood concentration from 5, 10, 15, and 20 percent and find out if those are actually um, different and is one of them better or not. Now in Excel, normally what you'd have to do is go data and then data analysis and then you'd have to come in and choose a NOVA single factor. Um, and so there's a lot of hunting and gathering to figure out how to do this. But to do an ANOVA, you have to have normal data. And so while you can come in here and pick a NOVA single factor, if you're not sure what to do, the thing to do is let the stat wizard go out there and do the analysis for you. And again, because the QI macros uh, specifically ask you to select your data before you decide what chart you want to choose or what statistical test, guess what? You don't have to go through a forest of decision trees. That's all built into the QI macros. And it'll figure out what to do for you. So again, here it's going to show that the data is normal. The variances are the same, but the means are different. And I find that this is critical. This is what we're trying to do, is we're trying to tell if one of these four different concentrations uh, will allow us to do a better job uh, in producing something for the client. And so if I click OK, you'll also see that instead of just a p-value and an alpha value, we do the analysis to figure out and say, oh, we should accept the null hypothesis that the the means or the variances are the same uh, because our p-value is, is greater than 0.05. The variances are the same. So it's going to tell you what its answer was from this. Now in this case our p-value is less than 0.05 so we're going to reject the null hypothesis which means that the means are different. And so It'll also do descriptive statistics, and it determined that the data is actually normal. So yes, indeed, we can do an ANOVA single factor. Now you could also come in and do that same thing right from here. So we might have to do uh, descriptive statistics, and then we could do uh, a, an ANOVA, and then we could do a Levine's test for variance. All of these things are done automatically by the stat wizard, so it can get you to results very quickly. Now compare the stat wizard to our major competitor, and they force you to go through again a forest of decision trees to make a decision about what statistic you want to choose before helping you do it. All right, And so I find that kind of unnecessary. That kind of wisdom should be built into the software and because the QI macros, you select your data first, we can help you with that decision. The QI macros, stat wizard, and statistical tools will get you to a result very quickly without going through a bunch of menus or a bunch of gibberish and then give you specific answers that you can, can leverage and move forward. So enjoy using the statistical tools in the QI macros. To learn more about the QI macros for Excel, go to our website, qimacros.com.